Hello everybody, this is Vysol. Welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. We are now headed to a fight against the Armada. And uh, precisely, Admiral Gregorio. It's time to fight Admiral Gregorio. It's going to be a tough battle. Give it everything you've got. Aye aye. Oh, done. Hey, you aren't actually going to fight against the Armada, are you? Huh? You're planning to fight Admiral Gregorio by yourself? Yep, that's the plan. I don't doubt your abilities, but I used to be a Valiant soldier. I know what the Armada can do. Going, on, going up against one of their admirals is crazy. Well, we've defeated three of them. Our ship is the best there is. We're faster than Gregorio's ship, and I think we can match his firepower. But even if you win, you'll never get through the Dark Rift. That's a uh, given, yeah? Like I said yesterday, our ship is the best there is. Our engines are more powerful than you think. And it might just be powerful enough to get us through the Dark Rift. Besides, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to see what was behind, what was beyond the edge of the world. That very edge is right in front of me. I have a chance to do what nobody has ever done before. I have a chance to make history today. If I said that I'm not scared, I'd be lying, but I won't let this opportunity pass me by. The chance to fulfill my childhood dreams lies, r lies right in front of me. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? <laughs> I suppose then, no matter what I say, you're not going to listen. Of course I'm vice, I never listen to reason. The Dark Rift is a giant vortex. If you can get through one side, you'll reach the eye in the middle. It is rumored that the eye is calm. There are other calm pockets along the edges of the Dark Rift. If you find one of the pockets, you might have half of a chance. Uh -huh. I see. Thank you. That is actually very good advice. I'll come back here when I'm done. I promise. Okay. Sure. So you can tell him all about it. Post about your adventures. That's half the fun of being an air pirate. Hey, kid, you're just like me when I was your age. Before I was beaten up and broken down by the world. Alright. Admiral, the Delphinus is approaching. It is moving into attack position. My orders were to bring him back alive or kill him if he refuses. We must do everything in our power to take him alive. All ships, prepare to attack. The Delphinus is the Armada's most powerful ship. Our adversaries may be young, but we can't underestimate them. Vice, the Armada is getting ready to attack us. This is it. Everyone, man your battle stations. We've got to get past Admiral Gregorius' defenses. We will defeat him. Then we'll get through the Dark Rift and reach Yafutoma. It will be quite today. So, first we need to pass through this uh, Gregorio cruiser. Air pirates come! Hand the prince over! You'll pay for kidnapping and brainwashing him! Okay, you're the one who's been brainwashed, it seems, Mr. Man. Well, what can we do here? Hopefully we can uh, score a nice little moonstone cannon on the next turn that uh, might even take him, take him down in one turn, so... For now, I might just uh, focus a bit. Aika has the best aim of all of us, so she will be launching the torpedo. Miss Fina can uh, maybe just focus. I don't care about damage at this point because I've got the Sacrulan now. And these guys are not powerful enough to harm my ship in any meaningful way. Alright, so... A little bit of a cannon there. Okay, that's decent damage. 3500, it's good. A fragmentation for 200, uh, 2,600 uh, damage. Okay, so we already have enough for the Moonstone Cannon next turn. It's going to be pretty awesome against uh, such a little target. Oh, you missed one cannon, did you? That's unfortunate. 
You're not very defensive there, Mr. Man. You were rumored to be the uh, Iron Walls fleet. Not the Iron Walls ship himself, but still. Aren't you supposed to defend now and again? It did not. Okay. Vice can... Uh, do cannon here. Aika can... Uh, and the Moonstone Cannon. Fina can do uh, Sacron after it if we fail to defeat this guy. Maybe we should do it even before it, so we actually do get its effect. Yeah, that's like a better idea. After all, we are already down 10,000 HP, so that's good. And then, Mr. Man, you can use a Valiant Torpedo to combo up Mr. Vice's attack turn 4, if we should come to that. I hope we should not. Okay, good miss. Who don't have wait orders. When you're awaiting orders, I'm going to crush you. Moonstone cannon, fire! Alright. Let's get a burn. Okay, so, yep, a little bit shy of 40k, that's good enough. You're going down in flames, and I have full HP, that <laughs> it is, it is good. Alright, yay, level 25, good. And the speed wax, which is going to be key in a little bit, but let's see. Everybody from the island is there supporting our fight. Yeah, go, turn, no, not that way. You idiots! What are you doing? You're supposed to fire all your cannons right there! Well, I did, and it worked. Yeah, get him! Hey, they're not that bad! Huh? Alright, alright. Ooh, it seems... Uh... Yeah, a stray cannonball is destroying the city! I'm coming! Okay, but Don is not phased at all. They still need to get past the next line of ships. They still have a long way to go. Oh... All right, and he's dead. Oh no, he's not dead, but uh, he should. That's <laughs> that was a big rock straight in the head. Now we need to fight this Gregorio battleship. You'll never defeat the second fleet of the Imperial Armada. Well, we'll just see about that, my good man. I have full HP, so I can afford to just spend a whole turn focusing there. This might sting a bit for me this turn, but it will sting a lot more for him next turn, so all in all, I think we'll be alright. Yeah, yeah, you defend yourself. Please, please, be my guest. And you can defend as much as you like. Yeah, you can take aim too. Wow. You are a defensive admiral, aren't you? Alright, it seems we are circling each other at the distance. Yay, first blood is for you. Good job, Mr. Man. opportunity for combo next turn, so let's see if we can set that up. Mr. Vice, Mr. Vice, what to do with you? Maybe an advanced cannon here? Mrs. Aika, you have the best aim, so we'll, you will be manning our sub-cannon. Miss Fina, you can man, a manner of speech, the torpedo, and then uh, Mr. Enrique, what to do with you? Maybe a little wax. And wax the decks. Go on, wax on, wax off. And you'll be a karate monster someday. <clears throat> Alright, let's do 
accent. Okay, a little bit of a hit there, not much. Oh, the blast charge is uh, your torpedo, that's a curious name. Your torpedo is still in the air. Now you're defending. Oh, where are you though? 6,000 damage is a lot. Okay, you weren't. Uh, I'm taking a bidding too. That's fine. Well, of course I will close in and look for an opening. That's how heroes fight. Plus, we're already set up for this. Oh no, you've already used your action for this, so you can uh, just focus there because you cannot do anything else. This is Finna. Can you do anything that costs four? Oh, you cannot. Okay, you can do something that costs three then. And then, obviously, the Moonstone Cannon, just to end this. Oh, this is some serious firepower I'm unleashing this turn. I am seriously uh, expecting him to die. Right here, from the Moonstone Cannon. Moonstone Cannon, fire! Alright, let's see if we can get a nice combo going on here. We can. 33,000 damage is enough. It's a bit low though. Right, 800 more XP, no level ups. Shred a bomb, a crystal ball, why not? Might be useful. The crystal ball is uh, loot, you, you just sell it. It has no value other than to be sold. Alright, we're doing great! Gregorius ship dead ahead. He'll be in range shortly. Right? Uncle Gregorio, I can't let you take me back. Alright, full speed ahead. It's now or never. And now for our third battle in a row against Admiral Gregorio himself in his flagship, the Origa. A very nice, very well armored ship with very nice cannons uh, all around a beast. Prince Enrique, please forgive me for taking up arms against you, but you leave me no choice. I will not allow you to escape, you will not get past the Origa. Okay then, well... As usual, I will spend my first turn just prepping up. But I can spring for a Sacroland though. That's uh, as much uh, SP as Vice creates by focusing anyway, so I'm not losing much. And uh, right, 27,000 HP is enough to resist for 3 turns, or so I hope. This guy defends a lot, sometimes three times per turn. Oh, and you lost your cannon there. How unfortunate. Alright, so we should... We should end our turn at 21 SP, and we gain 13 per turn, so that's very nice. Very nice indeed. That's his second evasive action this turn. Evasive maneuver. And alright, 16,000 HP restored. That's very nice. Thank you, Fina. Oh, how I love Sacroland. Okay. So, as I stated before, Gregorio has been nicknamed Ironwall by his peers. He is the, um, the Armada's best defense technician. I have heard that he sets up a tight defense and waits for his enemy to make even the smallest mistake. It is when it is then that he attacks. Alright. Well, I'm not going to make any mistake, so you're not going to be able to do much to me. 
Well, I'm not sure if he's going to do his special attack this turn or next turn. Might, uh, it might be atrocious if I use it in the wrong timing. So I will go under the assumption that it is going to happen next turn and that I will not have to set up an Ingram this turn. I will keep on. <coughs> Well, I will attack a little bit. Just a little bit. And on both turns, in case anything crazy happens. Miss Fina, you can defend us in the next turn. Hopefully I'm not right, I'm not uh, wrong on this, because it would be very bad. Okay, let's do one focus, because uh, we certainly need... Alright, defense on the first turn, that's fine. Hopefully you're not defending now on the second turn. No, you're using a cannon, that's nice. I can use my cannon too. Hopefully I can match your 4000 damage. No, I cannot. And as you can see, he has a lot of uh, hit points. Okay, good. That was very pathetic damage. I'm hoping he was defending. Okay, he was. <laughs> what will you do in your last turn, Mr. Gregorio? Are you doing your special move? It doesn't seem so. No, you're just doing a cannon. Okay. That's fine. That's really no bother at all. Okay, so now you will be using your special attack at the end of this turn, so I will set up so that I may obliterate you next turn. In order to do so, I will set up an advanced cannon with vice right here. I will set up a torpedo with uh, Heika there. I will set up a Ningprem. And I will set up a speed wax with Enrique just before the red turn. That is going to be key because this is uh, how we are going to be able to avoid a special attack and counter attack this phase. Which is why I want the Ingram on this turn so that it uh, prolongs its effect to next turn. He's prepping up for his attack and focusing in order to get the necessary SP, maybe. Okay, so we are now turning around, ready to face him. Alright, everything is set up now. Good damage! And now his special attack. The whole ram. Yeah, no, not today, Mr. Man. Ha, ah, I've avoided it. Yeah. Yeah, we dodged his ram attack. Now he's gonna pay. The enemy's vessel wi is wide open. Let him have it, Vice. If you say so. Okay, Mr. Vice, you have a lot of uh, strength, so you will be doing that. Uh, Aika, you have a lot of uh, accuracy, so you'll be doing that. Mrs. Fina, you have no more uh, SP to play with, so you will uh, be doing uh, a bomb, maybe. I have a bomb. I have a shredder bomb. Alright, that's good enough. And then, of course, the Moonstone Cannon, because we are not going to let him get away without a little Moonstoning, are we? Okay, let's be on our way, then. A little bit of a sub cannon to get him started, get him in the mood. Alright, we now have a very clear shot at his engines. And let's see what we can do. Ah, 
All right, that was enough. That's a little bit disappointing, Mr. Gregorio. I still had a lot of attacks for you, but oh well. Yay, level ups almost all around. That's very nice, though. A Captain Stripe, a heavy armor deck, and a 12-inch cannon. That's good. I can finally get rid of that last uh, prototype cannon I've been uh, keeping on my ship. Okay, so we're not that cruel. He's still airborne. We are not going to kill Uncle Gregorio. He's a good guy. Just obeying orders. I always thought that if we ever if we were ever to in battle together, that we'd be on the same side. Prince Enrique, is there anything I can do to make you reconsider? No, I've made up my mind. I am not going back to Palua. I know that you've noticed a change in the Empire as well. They are headed down a dark path. Trying to rule the world with an iron fist, it will be Valua's downfall. This world, this sky, it's not Valua's to rule, it belongs to the people. And to right the wrongs that Valua has committed, I have decided to travel with Vice and his companions. Tell that to my mother, and also that I pray every day for her good health. This is goodbye. I must go. Be well. Farewell, young prince. Yeah, you can tell that uh, Uncle Gregorio has a lot to think about now. And the population of Esperanza is all behind us now. A crazy sailor thing. Those kids are great. They just took out the Armada with one ship. Yeah, 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 we are just that good, I know. They make me feel like sailing again. Hey, that's very good then. Come on, pick up your shattered dreams and make them whole again. Vice, you put on quite a show. If you make it back from the Dark Rift, I hope you come back here and take me with you. I can't believe I'm saying this. You hear me, kid? You better make it back. Oh, that's great. We'll be coming back for you, Mr. Man. You're a cool dude. Okay, let's do a little bit of a ship equipment. We have uh, something to replace this old prototype cannon with. Let's see what it compares to the other. Okay, so it's got less attack, less hit. It costs the same and it doesn't go quite as far. So it is pretty awful. Actually, I would rather have my prototype cannon equipped so I will not be tempted to use this by mistake. And these are our equipment slots on our uh, ship. We have uh, four cannon slots. This one we cannot change. And then three equipment slots. In these we can put uh, equipment, obviously. Here we have one, the heavy armor deck. Very nice. Okay, Vice, should you do the honor? Of glitching, yes, of course it's glitching. Ah, wait. No, I've used the complete kit, did I not? Oh, that's stupid. Very much so. Okay, well, Captain Strike then. Stripe. Giving us a ship with 46,000 HP. Very nice. Okay. And did I win anything else meaningful? I don't think so. Okay. So, on our way we are then. We need to find some way to enter the Dark Rift. If we are ever to meet with the Yakutaman people. Alright. That looks good enough to enter. Little bit of a random battle, okay. Let's go. An advanced form of the quicker birds. Alright. Uh, you're not that threatening. I think you still uh, can cast the sleep para spell, which would be annoying, but uh, okay, let's see. Yes, you can. Oh, I knew it. Should have used Delta Shield. Now these guys are going to murder me. Oh, no, you're not. Good. Oh, okay, that's just a quick eye. It's not so worrisome. Oh boy. Now you're all going to spam Sleep Ara until everybody is asleep. I just know it. Oh well. Okay, just Vice. That's not so bad. After all, the one I really need to act is Eka. 
And I would very much appreciate if she would get off her ass and act anytime now. Yeah, yeah, another one of you guys. Good. Alright. Oh, and Vice is woke up now. Yay! Come on, consume them all. Oh, of course not, they are way too tough for that. One of them is down though. Two of them. Vice has lost his turn, I bet. Oh, yes, he has. Well, what can you do? Well, I will be using the Delta Shield then, and I will be using the Pyrus. Hopefully this will take care of my problems faster, because I will not be put to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Good going, Enrique. Oh, come on, you're just annoying. Yes, it works. At least you could fail it. guys are persistent. Come on, Fina. Take us out of here. Yeah. No. Give me strength. All right. That's uh, three down and a one, one critically wounded. Maybe you can take care of our problems, Enrique. You can. Thanks very much. Ha, that was easy. Well, oh yeah, yeah, it was enough anyway. Okay, Silver Magic, the Korea. Why not? It's not the most useful of the Silver Magic, but uh, well, anything else. And now we are right in front of the Dark Rift. Yes, there it is, the Dark Rift. But we're going to have to put a cut here, so I will be seeing you guys next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been Vice Soul playing Skies of Arcadia Legends, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.